Well, it is another jam-packed week of action in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. It's week nine. Let's get ready to go around the sweat on the pregame show. Let's start it off in Houston, Texas, as the UAPB Golden Lions, 1-6 on the season, 0-4 in conference play, take on the Texas Southern Tigers, who are 2-5, 1-3 in conference play. Both teams, they are coming off of Week 8 losses, where Texas Southern, they fell to Alcorn, 44-27, and UAPB, they fell to the University of Arkansas, 45-3. When we take a look at this Texas Southern team, they are led by quarterback Andrew Body, who, despite the loss, had 318 yards passing uh, against Alcorn. Of course, he found his favorite target, Keelan Davis, who is one of the top receivers in the Southwestern Athletic Conference. He's averaging 99 point yards per game. He had five catches for 132 yards and a touchdown in that loss to Alcorn. When we take a look at the UAPB Golden Lions, they are led on the defensive side of the ball by Jalen Thigpen. He averages eight tackles per game for the Golden Lions. That's going to be a 2 o'clock kickoff from BBVA Stadium in Houston, Texas. That game can be seen on ESPN Plus and AT&T Sportsnet. Let's take it over to Birmingham, Alabama. Alabama a and Bulldogs, Alabama State Hornets. It is the Magic City Classic. The Bulldogs, they come into this game 3-3 three and three on the season, 1-3 and three in conference play. The Alabama State Hornets, they also come in 3-3 three and three overall, 2-2 two and two in conference play. Both teams had a bye last week, but when we last saw the Alabama a and Bulldogs, it was a tough, heartbreaking loss to the Florida a and Rattlers, but they are the top offense in the swag. They are averaging 31.8 points per game. And, of course, they are led by one of the top quarterbacks in the SWAC in a quill glass who's averaging 333 yards through the air for the Bulldogs. When we take a look at Alabama State, they're trying to bounce back uh, from a loss when we saw them two weeks ago against Jackson State. But they are led on the defensive side of the ball by Urshot Davis, who's averaging 6.3 tackles per game. He uh, has also contributed two sacks for the Alabama State defense. Throw the records out. It's the Magic City Classic from Birmingham, Alabama. That is a 2.30 kickoff, and that game can be seen on ESPN3. Let's take it down to Tallahassee, Florida. It is homecoming for the Florida A&M Rattlers as they entertain the G-Men. Grambling State, they come into this game 3-4 and four overall, 2-2 two and two in swag play. Bam, you. They are 5-2 and two on the season, 3-1 and one in swag play. Grambling, they're returning from a bye week when we last saw the G-Man two weeks ago. They got a big homecoming victory over Texas Southern. And in that game, Noah Biden, he paced the Grambling offense with 156 yards passing. But it was the Grambling defense, four sacks in that 34-20 to 20 win over Texas Southern. We take a look at Florida A&M. They are coming off of a tough, tough road win against Mississippi Valley State Delta Devils. They were led offensively by Bishop Bonnet, 19 carries, 140 yards. Jamari Sharid, he had eight catches, 88 yards, and three touchdowns in that Florida A&M win over the Valley. Defensively, Florida A&M, they are the number two ranked defense in the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and they are led by the nation's top sack master, Isaiah Land. He has 11 and a half sacks thus far on the season. That is a three o'clock Homecoming kickoff from Tallahassee. That game can be seen on ESPN+. Plus. Let's take it down to the bluff, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, as the Southern Jaguars. They host the Alcorn State Braves. Alcorn, they come into this game 5-2 and two overall, 4-0 and oh in swag play. Southern, 3-4 and four on the season, 2-2 two and two in swag play. Of course, as mentioned, Alcorn, they're coming off an impressive road win over Texas Southern where they wrecked up. 233 yards on the ground. They were led by Stafford Anderson, 83 yards last week against Texas Southern. Through the air, it was C.J. Bowler leading the Braves receiving corps. He had seven catches for 111 yards and two touchdowns. C.J. Bowler, he's also the number two ranked uh, receiver in the conference. He is averaging 20 yards per catch. When we take a look at the Southern Jaguars, it was a tough homecoming defeat to the Prairie View Panthers. But they are led by the SWAC's top rusher, Kobe Dillion. He's averaging 96 yards per game for the Southern Jaguars. That'll be a 6 p.m. kickoff from A.W. Mumford Stadium in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. 
And of course, our game is the 6-1 Jackson State Tigers, 4-0 in conference play, traveling up to Itabina, Mississippi to take on the Mississippi Valley State Delta Doubles, who are 2-5 on the season, 1-3 in conference play. Of course, as mentioned, Valley, they're trying to bounce back from that tough home loss to Florida A&M, where 14 points in the fourth quarter was not enough to overcome the Florida A&M rallies as they dropped that one 31-28, but offensively, the Devils. They are led by the number six rusher in the conference, Caleb Johnson. He's averaging 77 yards per game for the Valley State Delta Devils. Last week against Florida A&M, Jelani Easton, he had a solid game as he threw for over 215 yards in that game for the Delta Devils. Big play receiver in Ja'Cory Rankin, four catches, 147 yards, a huge 67-yard catch in that game against Florida A&M. We take a look now at the defensive side of the ball for the Valley State Delta Devils. A always tough and scrappy defensive effort from the Delta Devils. They are led by one of the top tacklers in the SWAC and Balmy Swanye, Ronnie Thomas. He is amongst the top sack leaders for the Delta Devils. And, of course, Jerry Gardner, the perennial all-SWAC selection. Jackson State. They're coming off a successful home win over Bethune-Cookman last week, and it was a coming-out party for Malachi Wyman. Nine catches, 169 yards, four touchdowns. Of course, Shador Sanders, he is the number two-ranked uh, quarterback in the nation in terms of completion percentage. He is completing over 69% of his passes, 309-yard passing day last week against Bethune-Cookman. And what else can you say about the dark side defense? They are the number two defense in the nation, the number one defense in the SWAC. They're surrendering only 237 yards per game. The dark side, they also lead the nation in sacks. 32 sacks thus far in the season, over seven games. And last week, the secondary, they got in on the act. Three interceptions last week against Bethune-Cookman as Cameron Silman Craig, Shiloh Sanders, and Al Young all collected interceptions for the Tigers. It is a 3 o'clock kickoff from Itabina, Mississippi, Jackson State, and Mississippi Valley State. It will always be a great, great game, a fun robbery for both teams. And in closing, as we always say every week, go support your home team, either by fannies in the seats or watching it on TV. But until next week, when we see you around the swag, it's Charles Bishop of the Pregame Show. Uh -huh.